Hello everyone and now welcome to a game. This game is an online net ease match between Focus and Tho. Tho spawning as the red night elf over here on the bottom. Well, right hand side of the map. I will call it the 5 o'clock position. Meanwhile, all the way on the other side of the map, we have Focus spawning as the blue orc. This is Orc versus Night Elf in this 1v1 matchup. And if anyone out there notices my audio Ready is a little work. bit different, I, I'm, I, I am using a digital compression, trying to narrow the range of my voice so when I get excited, I don't go over the top or start getting crackling. I, I think there started to be some Ready feedback or some clipping in, in some of my microphones. So hopefully that is all now being adjusted and hopefully it sounds well nice and very smooth. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and break things down into this work. matchup here. We're looking at an Ancient of War work training complete. up right next to the 3322 Green Camp on the south side here. I am expecting the Keeper of the Grove alongside those archers who will be making an appearance. Back off Ready the north, work. we're looking at a Farseer coming into play. And well, we'll see the timing on this next Orc Burrow. The next Orc Burrow um, will tell whether or not, or well, whether or how we're going to be opening and how Ready much, uh, well, overall, we're trying to, how much lumber is going to be gathered. And there you are, we're sitting at 20 over 21. Are we going to go to 21 over 21? Or are we just going to go straight into a tech tier 2? That is the question that I'm looking at as players are trying to, well, figure out new types of strategies. By going for 21 over 21, you allow yourself to get a little bit more lumber while you are upgrading and a peon you also get to take now. I look a little tired. Um, well, this whole entire time change, um, well, has affected me. Um, anyone out there who knows, like, hey, fall back, you got an extra hour of sleep. Um, that is just not the case. I have children. And what does that mean? It means that my children, well, they are up at the same time and go to sleep at the same time until they are fully adjusted. And, well, um, I just end up uh, trying to deal with babies who cry, who don't understand why they're waking up early and no one else is, things like that. Using Chrome gives me more internet power. Weird? Really? Yeah, that, that is weird. How? I don't even know what internet power is. I have the power. Anyways, giant sea turtle coming back around 411. Um, Keeper is now the way. Attack. Using Chrome power is more random than the man <laughs> Um, well, you know what, the, uh, the amount of things that they were able to do with those old computer systems were, were absolutely amazing, right? I mean, anyone who's been watching or keeping track of we're space complete. travel in in this new century, we've, like, I, I remember seeing old control panels um, on the moon landers when I went to the Air and Space Museum out in, out in Tucson, and now now things are digitally controlled through an i like an ipad We're touch complete. that is absolutely amazing in-game sound is too loud compared to your voice I'm about to say the same all right hold on if i up my voice here um and then i can i can try and drop in-game sounds options sound let's go ahead music volume down there all right let's go back save return the game all right, so how, how does that sound? Does it sound a little bit better? Perfect. All right, thank you. Having people adjust um, adjust my audio um, is extreme, extremely helpful and extremely nice. Hopefully, all of those Kingdom Rush videos that I recorded yesterday are actually well balanced as well. I'll have to go back and um, go take another listen. Um, I actually haven't checked that. Hmm. Shame, shame, shame. Anyways, let's go ahead and break th things on through. Wisp now looking to back up here. We're, we're, we're seeing a lot of action all across the map, and this is classic of Turtle Rock. Um, as there is so much going on on the map right now, so many units just walking around, and heroes being able to get fairly high level because of the number of creeps. Not only are the creeps numerous, there is also a wide range of creeps, going from green to yellow to red, at, with the red ones being the center gargantuan sea turtles that drop potions uh, like high level consumable items. 
potion of greater healing, potion of greater mana, potion of invulnerability, scroll of the beast, perhaps the least favorite uh, out of all of those, but still very, very effective. So even if you don't, you can sell them for a good amount of gold. Archer is not shooting up onto the high map here. Terrorwalk still a ladder map? Don't think so. It is on a net ease, yes. So it is on net ease being introduced back. And um, also the world cyber games. Um, is, is was actually going on right now, so that did come as a bit of a surprise um, to me. I, I normally try to keep up on some of my Warcraft 3 news, but that particular event seemed to just um, slip away from me as we're looking at uh, Huntresses and Archers now making their way out. Hello everyone, well WGL announced the change, Twisted Metals for Turtle Rock, so it came back into focus, yeah. Um, Twisted Metals was, uh, was a little bit too large, and um, well, Twisted Meadows was, was the oddball in the map. The, the wide, wide open uh, battles out in midfield allowed for a lot more, a lot more melee units. And then all of a sudden, it got dropped for Turtle Rock, where um, archers and ranged units tend to reign supreme. Turtle Rock will always be voted. I wish they actually introduced new maps like Runes. Yeah, um, having new maps, introducing new maps sure, into the map pool. And, and this is one of those things where if you ask the professional players, would they want it? It's, it, it's almost a catch-22 because um, the professional players would then have to train much more to be able to, to continually and, effective and play effectively. So if you, ask, if you ask someone, hey, do you want to do more work? Well, it's it, it's almost like, well, I don't necessarily want to do more work. I know that this particular map may be a bad, bad matchup for me, but I've already trained for it. If I train for it, well, it, it's really not not that particularly bad. As we see a chain lightning rip through a bunch of units here. Archer is now trying to retreat back. Archer is, well, down to 255 hit points. Now going to get taken down, double level up for the Farseer and that Shadow Hunter as the units now make their way back off to the north. There goes an Entangle. Oh, a Purge. Is it going to be enough? No, it is not as the Keeper of the group robe gets to level four complete. units are retreating back here we are getting still an ancient of war Work and what complete. is this a ninja expansion all right so setting down a ninja expansion right next to his opponent We're gonna be difficult attack. to spot and um, um, by focus as focus has i believe was the one that cleared out that location but has not yet gone back to scout it out Meanwhile, down across here, we are looking at the Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4. And Trent's are going to be joining in on the fight. More archers are going to be joining in. It looks like the Potion of Greater Mana was transferred over. Ring of Regeneration perhaps should be given to the Alchemist, as the Alchemist is the strength-based hero. So he normally has a lot more hit points. And now we're going to see a little bit more fighting back on the other side here. All right. Uh, Alchemist picks up that and fight there. And we're going to go into a little bit of an entanglement. Are we going to see an entanglement? The Potion of Greater Mana is right there. Keeper of the Grove. Now trying to back away more damage coming back through as the units are now heading back off to the north all right alchemist attack. and keeper of the grove continuing the fight here we're looking at both sides taking the opportunity to clear out red creep camp shadow hunter should be very or no not a red creep camp that's just a, a green one shadow hunter should be getting closer to three as the hunters now need to back up here uh, all of these units back off to the side there's going to be a healing wave alchemist may try to go for a healing spray as well potion of greater mana now transferred back over to the alchemist as they are trying to keep those units alive and well alchemist now down a, a little bit of trouble as i said perhaps should have been picking up that ring of regeneration the keeper of the grove doesn't need it nearly as much as we see an entangle go down onto that koto beast are we going to get a purge that is the question there as the koto beast could end up getting taken down meanwhile healing spray off onto the back healing wave onto the back right there and that looked like it was just enough are we going to see that keeper of the no not finished off down to 45 hit points as a trent gets eaten all right so remember um kodos eat your vegetables and that is what that is all about and all right coming back through alchemist huntresses keeper of the grove heading back off to the north here tree of life is already done wisp are getting added um into this fight as well alchemist sitting at level two gonna get very close to level three here as that well spirit wolf is able to back away and create some distance 
so far we are looking at an expansion already coming in from focus as well we are getting raiders and shaman and we are only staying at tier two tree of ages also only staying at tier two as well so that actually comes as a, a little bit of a shock i was expecting to see um, well perhaps some some mountain giants joining in on the fight here but no it looks like it is just going to be mass tier 1 and 1 1.5 with huntresses and archers all right where are units going to be going into next farseer does have a cloak of flames not necessarily the best item of use there forest troll berserker one more shot maybe two will finish it off there it goes as this last forest troll berserker gonna get cleared up by these dire wolves inside the base here trents are just walking on inside causing some problems dire wolf gets taken down getting in a little bit more gold meanwhile alchemist is sitting at level three what item did he pick up uh, it looked like it was a scroll of the beast that was quickly sold as the keeper of the grove now going to teleport back and we drew three group with the army 49 supply compared to 50. Um, are we going to see a little bit of an engagement yes a little bit of attack from behind going after those units there are serpent wards now down and the giant sea turtles are going to get well popped here there go the chain lightning to ensure the kill as the units are now trying to retreat back no entangle so many purges available from the shaman to ensure that the well the keeper of the grove is pretty much shut down interesting that focus Research did go for shadow complete. hunter over the torrent chieftain especially as we're seeing um, chain lightning used that much um, I'm, I'm, i guess the reasoning behind it is healing wave has been able to save some of those kodo beasts ever any unit that is actually focused down also on top of that serpent wards at level three are a great job shutting things down here all right it looks as though the watchtower is going to try and get constructed here units are now trying to make their way back another spirit wolf making their way through as the keep of the globe tries to create some separation all right there goes an acid bomb across multiple units hundred huntresses trying to bomb in some damage as well kodo beast unable to catch up as there is an ensnare here meanwhile coming back across archers are well trying to sh actually shadow melding and things are not looking good oh a beautiful beautiful ensnare right on the corner causing a little bit of traffic jam causing a surround onto an archer as well as those raiders are really doing their job focus starting to pull out ahead here especially as this watchtower is the watchtower no watchtower is not going to get constructed as the trends are able to make their way over all right there goes a healing wave across multiple units no spirit link and um, as as there is only uh, but shamans and not spirit walkers that well one grunt does get taken down and then snare onto the alchemist but there was still time for enough healing spray to keep him alive a new tree of life being constructed off over here this entangled gold mine is it going to be able to pay for itself that is the question now as the units are making a mad run off into that location keeper of the grove instead of defending this expansion location looking to clear out a Ready red creek ride. camp instead this is real-time strategy games are a game of seconds as i have mentioned in the past and using that time when while your opponent is taking down your gold mine while you are in fact clearing out a very high level creep camp getting experience and getting gold onto your units is actually very useful as well all right level five now on that keeper of the grove level four on that alchemist Alchemist still always low on hit points, apparently, as we see a, well, a Keeper of the Grove make their way off over here to try and shut down this Great Hall. All right, the Trent's Our off over here, slowing attack. their opponent's presence, but quickly getting purged down as this one Great Hall will get cleaned up here momentarily. Peon has scouted out this second tree of, or second tree of life indeed as a watchtower now getting added. Great, yeah, great map movement and great map awareness um, on a, on a, such a small map like this, it can feel very large because of all the places where your opponent can be. And all of those places actually matter. Um, Twisted Meadow is kind of a, li a little bit of the opposite where your opponent, uh, your opponent can more be in quadrants than in actual, actual places. All right. Attack. We are looking at 57 supply compared to 49. Um, 
tree of life is already up, but the entangled gold mine is not yet done. There has to be some sort of defense here as the well units are coming in to engage. All right, tree of life is going to take a lot of bonus damage from those raiders. That's going to be a problem. Trent's now joining in. Keeper the Grove coming in from behind. Is the tree of life going to be able to get a repair off or anything? It does not look like it. But while the raiders are dealing damage to that tree of life, we see that the Keeper the Grove is trying to focus down some of those other units. Unable to do exactly that, though. We are looking at 50 supply compared to 57. Army sizes are about the same. Units still continuing to make make their way through across the map, though. Keeper of the Grove now making their way off to the north. Where are we going next? Where where are we going next? The next battle as the main gold mines only have about six minutes of mining left. What you see is going to be what you get. And I believe Night Elf does have access to more healing with the Keeper of the Grove Tranquility on the horizon. And the Alchemist is healing spray. Acid Bomb going down archers. And this is a beautiful spot for all of those archers to freely just shoot and pluck and, and make pin cushions out of all of these units. Keeper of the Grove is still right here. Huntresses are right there. Shaman and Walt Spear or the Serpent Wards are in the back causing problems. More trends joining in. And that's just opening things up only to get purged down in a moment's notice. More raid kind of will end up taking again taken out as well alchemist gets ensnared as there goes an acid bomb chain lightning bouncing around and a, well one scroll of healing was trying to be used there as the alchemist is ensnared is really preventing much of the healing that is necessary for this night elf army to be able to stick around and stay alive and well all right more damage coming back across alchemist down to 540 hit points keeper of the grove finally being forced to use a scroll of town portal to back away 43 supply compared to 43 and wow, two dead Huntresses at the very last moment. And the Farsi are not getting taken down. Focus with incredible focus in that battle. Uh, knowing when to push and when to retreat. But now, what can what do we need to see here? Clarity Potion being used while the Pendant of Energy and the Robe of Magi are both dropped. With the faster attack speed, Kodo Beast. Oh, there's a Huntress in the belly of the beast. Though so gonna be falling behind a 40 supply. Supply. There is an, another expansion trying to be built. There is a Wisp off over here. Spirit Wolves are already in the process of doing scouting, as the Shadow Hunter really wants to get back into that 300 mana range. You can you can tell he purposely leaving behind those mana items. Meanwhile. The alchemist, who has, is normally well, the backbone of the or when, the backbone of the healing of the of the fight, they're unable to do exactly that because the amount of raiders with ensnare, with that ensnare right there. Oh, there goes another force of nature. Can you get taken out? Gonna give a little bit more experience. Still, shadow hunter, clo um, getting close to 500 mana already. Max out at 640, and that has really been the tale of why that orc army of focus was able to just stick around in that fight he was able to constantly heal much more efficiently than the night elf and and this is saying uh, this is going up against an alchemist who's had a potion of greater mana and also has a sobi mask and those raiders in snare really making a very very big difference as we're as well though trying to figure out where he wants to draw the line and fight next more units are going to get healed back up everyone is getting all topped off keeper of the grove now has the hood of cunning um no going back and forth not quite sure what's going on there hood of uh, cunning is intelligence and agility by five now significantly stronger than before and there is that plus five damage um yeah we'll see what is going to end up coming down here all right are we going to see in the next fight where, where are those oh, spirit wolves going to be making their uh well locations we are looking at well a great hall a pocket great hall for tier three that had to be a pocket great hall yeah fortress was established to get that pocket great hall and well constant purging and bonus experience from uh, um from those trends and that is going to start to become an issue if you just start feeding your opponent experience um, it does eventually start to add up and yeah making i personally like the plus five versus the plus four it, it 
the, the plus 10 to overall stats for those items Ready compared to, to Circlet of Nobility as a plus 6. And that's really the difference right there. Trying to adjust a Circlet of Nobility is, is near impossible. But being able to adjust the uh, other higher items, right? Um, now it is plus 10 as opposed to plus 8. And it is usually in two categories, which does um, has a better chance of finding your primary attribute. Archers in the front, lightning shield not getting placed down as the light archers are just constantly being forced to move back away. We should see an ensnare on the alchemist. There goes the ensnare, and look at that lightning storm just across all of those units. Archers trying to reposition, as you know, as archers are moving, they're not dealing damage. 65 supply compared to 57, as damage is starting to add up again. All right, more healing spray. Archers are going to be forced to move. Still, chain lightning bouncing around 54 compared to 50. Before we are even overall and there are no serpent lords out on the field it looks as though the shadow hunter is purposely keeping all of his mana for um, more and more healing potions of mana could be transferred over back to the farseer farseer has level three chain lightning and that is bouncing around 51 supply compared to 33 as it looks as though the farseer is going to be making a run towards this tree of life here to try and shut it down Focus is up on bases right now. Farsi are heading back off to the north. And, well, timing is going to be key here. Trent's now making their way over, shortening the walking distance between these two bases. And that's something I did not consider. Uh, the, force of, uh, the force of nature ability opening up the map of, of Turtle Rock to allow the Keeper of the Grove and the army to, uh, to move in that much faster. Wisps trying to threaten detonation. Farseer could come across with a chain lightning of his own. There it goes. Five wisps pretty much taken down as, um, well, one does get the detonation off. All right. Alchemist is out of mana and out of options. Keep for the Grove sitting at level five. We're seeing more damage come on through here. A couple more uh, damage in the back. Spirit Wolves getting added 56 supply compared to 40. Where is the rest of this orc army? The orc army actually looks um, a little small here. As we're seeing more engagement, there goes one Spirit Wolf. Another Spirit Wolf could get taken out. The Sobe Mask, is it given to the Keeper of the Grove? Yes, it is. As we're going to see this one Tree of Life, are we going to see some repairs? No repairs at all. As the Healing Wave still bouncing around. And it is going to be another hit and run tactic once more. Focus retreating after dealing terrible, terrible damage. Any transition from Tho? No, Night Elf has no dispel. Transitioning into a loss. Yeah, no. So, not quite sure what to make of this. Those hit and run tactics from the Orc army, extremely powerful. Rise. Shadow Hunter being used mainly as, uh, as as ways to heal the instantaneous heal of Healing Wave versus the 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 perhaps sometimes more effective heal of keep of Healing Spray. However, the um, the Alchemist's Healing Spray has not We're been able to be used in combat. Units. Well, ready to position themselves again. 44 supply compared to 62. We're looking at a 38 supply army compared to 51. T location is going to be key if Tho wants to make a big play of this, especially as the Keeper of the Grove only sitting at, um, well, not not yet at that ultimate ability. Farseer and Shadow Hunter both maxed out abilities right there. And all of those purges coming in onto those units, on, onto those trends continuing to give more experience there all right let's making their way back down all of these spirit wolves are they, how much damage are they going to really be able to do keeper the grub gets up to level six but tranquility may not make a difference when your opponent has that many well raiders with ensnare there you go there is that tranquility a little bit of last ditch effort trying to create a little bit of separation a raider comes through the woods and throws down the ensnare onto the keeper of the grove that was an a for effort but well uh, uh, his own trends and his own deforestation action causing the problem. Tree of Ages in the middle right now. Keeper of the Grove healing spray. Motion of invulnerability to try and stay alive as well as this is not yet done being entangled. More healing spray getting added in. There goes the ensnare down. 31 supply compared to 61 and the GG should be inbound as the Huntresses uh, well, are starting to fall. Uh, what is this? Raiders are in the backfield. They're not engaging. Farseer, does it have a chain lightning in store? It does not. And Focus, with a great, great effort and a great game, coming out on top. I thought the Ninja expansion would have given a better, well, better start overall to Tho. That ended up not being the case. And I wish I could see, like, a chart in 
and in Warcraft 3, similar to Starcraft 2, which actually shows the running total score between both players over time. Um, that way you can actually see a little bit of those lead changes going back and forth. But um, really, Farseer, Farseer, Shadowhunter, essentially two, ma I, I can't say intelligence-based heroes, two mana-based heroes with very, very interesting play. Um, and uh, what was also on interesting on top of all of that was, well, the amount of, uh, well, was how Focus opted to use his mana. He opted to use his mana for Serpent Wards in his defense. And I think that caused Tho to transition from a, a much heavier Huntress army to, to more archers. Once that happened, well, we saw that Focus said, okay, I, he must have made the adjustment, saw that there were so many archers out on the field and said, you know what, my raiders can handle this. My raiders can absorb more damage, more piercing damage. I'm going to go ahead and transition from using Serpent Wards since the Serpent Ward attack isn't that great against an archer to just healing my units and outlasting my opponent. With that and the inability for those the alchemists to be able to channel that healing spray because of the raiders, things started to tip in favor of focus. Great decision making, great, great reaction by focus there for the win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.